Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of 15 Minute Builds. And in today's episode, we're going to be building something kind of cool. We're going to be building ourselves a fallout shelter or a bomb shelter. And we're going to be building it into the side of this mountain. You'll notice I'm not in my normal creative world. And that is because in the creative world, the terrain just isn't deep enough to build something into the side of a mountain. So... That's pretty much the gist of it. Let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock starting right now. So let's go ahead and the first thing we'll want to kind of create here is the doorway. So let's grab a little bit of... I don't think I really want to use smooth stone. Let's use stone brick. And let's just kind of bring that in and over. And we're going to want a too high door door or a too wide door I think something along these lines and then we can dress that up a little bit I'm using monster eggs aren't I I am totally using monster eggs we will replace those and I want a little cyan stained clay and where is my andesite there it is let's grab a little bit of that as well so what we can do to kind of dress this door up a little bit is replace those with andesite blocks like this. And then we could maybe even put some clay in there. That actually looks really good. I really like the effect that that gives. Um, but then we want to kind of make sure that this is built into the mountain. So we're going to kind of bring the mountain around uh, the doorway like this. Something like that should do. And then... We don't really have lanterns unless I'm in modded, so for now I'm just going to kind of use torches for the lighting. And then this will be the beginning of our actual fallout shelter. So, we'll go ahead and take a block here, and then I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and... We're just going to hollow that out just like that. I'm going to put a couple torches up, uh, just kind of spam them for a minute so that you guys can actually see, because seeing is usually a good thing. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to replace this whole thing with stone bricks. And let's do pretty much the entire everything with that, just for now. And then we'll mix in other materials in a little bit. But there we go. We get some of that going. And actually, let's do the same with these two. There we go. So this is kind of our base hallway. Now, that should be deep enough into the mountain where I can start kind of expanding it. But it looks like most of my expansion is going to have to kind of happen going this way. And that is fine. So we're going to knock out a little door right here. And we'll go one, two, three. Actually, we're going to go even a little bit farther than that. We're going to go three deep. And then we'll go one, two, three. And yeah, that should do. And then we'll go one, two, three. And right here, I'm going to go another one, two, three, four. And we'll go five. And then we're going to go and hollow all of that out. And that will give us a nice room like this. Let's put a torch down again. And then we're gonna go back and we're going to replace... Oh, hey, stop it. We're going to re once again replace these walls with stone brick. And I'm not gonna probably be able to finish a full on uh, bomb shelter, underground, fallout base type thing in this time limit. But my idea here is just, uh, what I want to do here is just kind of give you a general idea of what you could do and kind of call it good from there. So we've got our stone bricks, right? And this, this would go, you know, farther down or, I mean, you could break this off into different tunnels. So now we've got our little rooms, right? And the first thing we'll want to do is something with the floor, because right now this is really all one texture, and that's just not a good look. So let's try maybe replacing the ceiling 
with cyan stained clay. So that's 159.9, I believe. There we go. And what if we do the floor like that as well? How's that going to look? Okay, that's not necessarily bad. We can do something like that, maybe. I'm liking this cyan stained clay less, but that's okay. So then let's go ahead and do the same in here. And we'll just go like that. There we go. So we've got our cyan stained clay and then our brick walls, which works out relatively well, I think. Now we need to see about maybe mixing some other materials into the wall. So if I mix in a little bit of andesite and maybe a little bit of polished, how's that look? That looks pretty derp. I don't like that. So maybe what we'll do instead is mix in maybe a little bit of cracked stone brick. Just a little bit, because we want this shelter to be one that uh, it's not really in use anymore. It was used long, long ago, and now it's been abandoned for a long time. So we'll just mix in some stone bricks, maybe a little bit right there as well, just to kind of give it that worn down... Uh, kind of destroyed appearance that we're going for here. And we'll carry some of that over. Oh, and we're just going to do that on all the walls. Just mix in some other materials. And it'll help make the walls look a lot better than just having a single material for all of them. So there we go. Now we could maybe... Mm, no, that's that's not a good idea. Okay, so we've got that going. Now, let's put some torches up. And I think we'll go with some carpets, maybe? How do these, those look? Those look pretty good. Okay, so let's grab some light gray carpets. And we're going to put some shelves in up against this wall. And up against this wall as well. So those are kind of our shelves, and we could even turn them a little bit. Uh, not right there, but maybe maybe like this. Because when I think of these fallout shelters, I think of shelves just filled with like canned goods and stuff like that. Uh, things that are meant to last like forever. And then what we could do is, since we don't actually have canned goods, we can kind of represent them with things on item frames. So we'll just put up a bunch of these, like so. And I'm not really digging these ones anymore. I think we're gonna do away with those. Yeah, let's get rid of these corner ones. There we go. And then we'll just grab, I don't know, a bunch of random food. Um. Let's see, let's just grab some cooked mutton, some stew, carrots, apples, um, cooked pork chops, maybe some cookies, some cake. It doesn't really matter. And we'll just kind of, you know, put these in however you want to do it. Um, little bits here and there. Just kind of mix it up. This is your food. This is your food supply for when the... When the, war, when the nuclear war happens, because you need to have food, otherwise you're going to die a horrible death. That's really dark, and kind of morbid and depressing, and I don't know how I feel about that. But we'll just mix some of these in, here and there. And maybe a little bit like this, and then some cooked mutton. There we go. So we've got all of our vegetables and things like that. Then we're going to need a place to actually kind of prepare some food. So let's maybe grab some iron blocks and do maybe an iron block in the middle. And then a couple of furnaces over here. We can knock out the blocks underneath, grab some redstone, some weighted pressure plates, and some iron trap doors. And I'll put those on there. And then we'll put them down like this. 
And that should give us kind of a nice little grill looking thing. And then if I put these pressure plates on top, that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Gives us a little grill looking thing. And we could maybe, instead of a, um, instead of an iron block there, maybe instead we go with a cauldron. And then we'll put water in it. And then I'm going to need, let's see, an item frame, a lever, and a piece of blue wool or maybe blue carpet. Let's try the blue wool first. Yeah, that doesn't work at all. Okay, so in that case... We'll put in the blue carpet and the lever. That did not work either. Let's go tripwire hook instead. Let's see how that looks. There we go. So we get the blue there to kind of represent that it's, uh, you know, a cold faucet or whatever. So we've got kind of our little kitchen area over here. Now let's go ahead and make another room, and we can't really expand that way. So let's go maybe... Hmm... We could just make another room branching off of this one. Or I think what I'm actually going to do is we're going to make like our main uh, family room. So let's just take this for a ways. Maybe to about... Ooh, I can't really take that out too much farther, can I? Um... Hmm, let's go... How far does this go? Right here. Beautiful. So, we'll go there, and this is one, two, three, four. So now we want to go one, two, three, four, and then I'm just going to go... Uh, let's see, one, two, three... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine. And we'll go to here. I know you guys can't see anything right now. There we go. Now we've got ourselves a room. And we'll clear that out as well. And then we'll clear... Uh, actually, let's leave that. And let me just put down some... Torches. Okay. Now. From here to here. I want the cyan stained clay. And from there to here, I want the cyan stained clay. Oh. And there as well. And then from here to here, I want... Is it 98? Yes, good. I want the stone bricks over here. Oh, wow, I am quickly running out of time. I am... I am running out of time so fast. This is not even funny. Okay. We're going to extend our stone bricks. Like that. And like that. Okay. So this would be like the main bedroom. So maybe what we'll do is grab a couple of beds and maybe put them in like over here. And then we grab maybe some... Maybe some brown wool for a couch. And we can do a couch over here with white cushions. How would that look? That looks really derp. Um, yeah, I don't care for that. We could just make the whole couch out of snow. Except that's going to be very time consuming. So you know what we'll do? Is we'll go to... Oak wood, I think. And I'll just do a very, very simple couch over here like this. Everything's supposed to be kind of packed into a very small area in these shelters. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's grab... Actually, yeah, let's use a sticky... No, let's not use a sticky. Let's use a normal piston. So we'll put that there. And that gives us a little table. And then for lighting in these things... We want glowstone. 
because I think that probably makes the most sense. And we can go like that, or however you want to do it. It doesn't particularly matter. I'll let you guys kind of come up with that on your own. We got lighting there. And then lighting over here. And once again, we would... Oh, and we actually need lighting. Maybe we'll do it in the corners and along the sides here. Like every... Yeah, something like that. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you guys kind of get the idea, I think. But I'm going to call it done at uh, 15 minutes. And a second or two, but that's okay. Um, so there you have it, guys. A couple ideas for a fallout shelter. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But that is going to do it for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.